What's up, everybody? Hey, just want to come and do a quick moment with you. Um, some things that have happened this week and kind of just do a weekly recap. I'm probably going to go live every Friday evening just to do a weekly recap and give you some information and things that I've learned. So one of the things is I'm getting a haircut today and this this uh, lady who's cutting my hair says, do you know this person or what about this? Or, well, don't you think that people will say something or whatever? And I just got to a place. Other people had asked me today, do you know this person? Or, hey, I'm having this person on the show. And I'm like, well, who's that? Like, I don't know who that is. And, and I, just, I just got to another place in my mind where I don't care what other people are doing. And I don't care what other people think about me. And I don't care what other people are doing. I'm not even paying attention to them. I've been so head down this month of March. I got a new company launching in April. I've been doing a lot of that um, in March. Been upgrading things like this that you see with the third, um, with the third row and the and the logo that's uh, like right here. And so I've just been upgrading everything I do, new equipment, new videos. If you've seen any of the videos that I've been doing with the video wrapper, it has the header up here. It sometimes has the footer down there. It's got the transcribed video. Everything I'm doing is on another level. Everything I'm doing is next level. And I just, I just realized that I got to a point today in my mind when people are like, well, do you know who this guy is? Like, you don't know who that is? Like, I just don't care. I don't care what other people are doing. I'm not focused on other people. I'm focused on me. I'm focused on what I'm doing. I'm focused on the things that I'm creating and the things that I am passionate about. I don't have time to focus on other things. And my wife had told me too, she sent me a picture. It says, Peop, the ones that focus on you the most are the ones that hate you. And I was like, dang, that kind of hit me deep because we've got some people that have like are hating on us. There's people that are not. There's people that are not, um, you know, being real nice to us and like everything else. And so it's just, it, it, it just is so true that, that I'm not focusing on what other people are doing. I'm not like, people's like, have you seen my live? Have you seen my, I have it. I didn't see your live, man. I'm really sorry. Tag me in it. I didn't see this or I didn't see this or I'm just so focused on what I'm creating and I'm so focused on being in my truth and living in my truth that I just don't have time to spend on other people's stuff, you know, and I just don't have time to care what other people think about me because I'm not living in the reality of what other people think about me. And I'm not living in the reality of what people think I should be doing or the way that I should be doing it. I set out to give my strategies a test. It works. And so I double down on the result that I want. I want a certain result. I did a strategy, it worked. That's all I care about. I care about that I'm getting the strategies that, or, or, or I'm getting the results that I want using the strategies that I'm using. And so right now, my message for you right now is that if you are feeling some type of way, if you're feeling held back if you're feeling like man all these people around me are are this way and this way and they're so successful in this i'm going to tell you right now most of the people on facebook who are facebook preneurs right and are doing millions of sales are not let's just throw that out there they're not they're facebook preneurs they're wannapreneurs what i've learned literally what i've learned is that if people are bragging about it then it's not happening for them it's not happening. They're using the, like people who show the pictures of the paycheck. Like, that's cool. Got it, man. You got paid that. Like, that's great. But like, oh yeah, I'm this and I'm this. And they're always promoting and always self-promoting and always all that. It's not happening for them. That's just, I don't know any millionaire that's like, look at me guys. I'm a millionaire. Look at me. Like they're too busy living their truth. They're too busy inside of what they are creating to be flaunting their money or flaunting their results. That's just, I talk to a lot of millionaires and they all say the best way for you to spot a fake is when people are like, look at me, I'm making millions of dollars. Look at me, I'm making millions of dollars. Money's a byproduct. If you're solely focused on trying to make money, you've already lost. 
period, dot, the end. You've already lost if you're focusing on money. Money is a byproduct of the result that you get people. So if you say that I can make you this way, if I can transform your life in this way, a couple of people that I'm working with right now with my speaker clients, I took them from nothing to getting booked on stage in less than three months. Took them from nothing and have gotten them whatever it is that they wanted to get. A guest inside of a, a compilation book. They're speaking on stage. They're, you know, they're starting to make money. Like, that's awesome. I don't sit there and flaunt that stuff all over Facebook. I did now, but I don't flaunt that all over Facebook. I give you the strategies. I give you the tools. And it's up to you if you choose to use them. I give everything away for free. I don't try to sell, you know, 90% of the time. I love it when people are like, hey, you need to serve your way to the top and serve your way to the top and then buy my shit, buy my shit, buy this and buy this. Hey, engage with me on my post by saying info in my post. And then what happens is they message you on Facebook Messenger. You said info, so I'm automatically going to message you on Facebook. And I think it's super funny, and I just laugh when I see the engagement post. We're like, if you want to know how I did this, message info below. And then they go and Facebook message those people who said info, say, buy my shit and buy my shit and get into my program and get into my program and buy my shit. How about you just give that stuff away for free? Or the best one that I've seen that I absolutely love, this is my favorite one, where somebody says, hey, how do I market this thing? And they says, and this is literally the comment, PM to you. Why are you PMing them? Just answer the question. If you're in a Facebook group, okay, if you're in a Facebook group and you see, I'm looking for marketing advice on marketing my book, and somebody right underneath that comment, somewhere in the comment says, PM to you, they're literally trying to sell that person. Why not give away all your stuff? Why not, I'm looking for marketing whatever. I'm looking for book marketing, podcast marketing. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for podcast marketing. Me, I'm going to give you a full rundown of how I market my podcast because I'm giving value. What I see a lot of right now is PM to you. That, it just makes me laugh. And then I go right under that and go, here's all my stuff for free. And I give it to you. Like if you're not using Google or if you're not using YouTube, to do whatever it is that you want to do, if you're not using Google, if you're not using YouTube to figure things out, you've lost, period. You've lost. I don't know what else to tell you. You've lost. And so when people say, PM to you, wow, wow. So it just makes me laugh. Anyway, what I want you guys to get into the mindset of right now, this is what I really want you to get into the mindset of. I don't care what anybody else is doing around me. I'm living my truth. I'm living my brand, and I'm creating what I'm creating. I don't care what this guy is creating. I don't care what this girl's creating. And then, you know, oh, well, you don't know who that is? You don't know who's coming on my podcast? No, dude, because I don't care. I don't care what that guy does. Does he have anything to do with what I'm creating? Yes, then I want to know. No, I'm out. I ain't got time for that. I'm so busy creating my stuff that I just, I, you know what? I, I've also come to the realization, I'm never going to read another book, period. I'm not going to read another book. I'll buy the books so that I can give them to other people or I'll buy the book that like Mark Crandall has a book that's coming out soon. So I'm going to buy his book. Um, I just worked with, with, uh, with a client that we just made her book number one, like number one bestseller. And so I bought her book, number one, to support her. And number two, maybe that somebody needs, you know, that book and I can give them that book and whatever. I'm never going to read another book. Here's why. I'm reading Inc. I'm reading Forbes. I'm reading Huffington Post. I'm listening to podcasts. I'm listening to real-time stuff because Think and Grow Rich does not tell me how to launch a Facebook ad. Think and Grow Rich does not tell me how to launch my business and choose the correct category. Think and Grow Rich does not tell me how to take out a a, a, to create an ebook on Amazon and make it number one. They did not tell me how to make a number one podcast. So what do I do? G-O-O-G-L-E, Google. I am Googling how to have a number one podcast, how to get booked and paid to speak. And I'm on YouTube watching YouTube videos and learning about WooBox and posting and making 
my uh, testimonials from YouTube available on Facebook, which I now know how to do. I can take YouTube testimonials and make them available on Facebook, and you can read them on Facebook as part of my, my column, as part of my, my uh, options. And so what I'm doing now is I'm learning everything I have to learn about what it is that I want to do. And these books, right, the 21 Laws of Leadership, John Maxwell, love John Maxwell. How is John Maxwell book going to help me launch a Facebook ad? It's not. So I've decided today I'm never going to read another book, period, dot, end of story. I'm going to read Huffington Post and Inc. and Success. And I'm going to like literally read articles that people have written about the current times about what is happening. That's what I'm doing. And you know what? I've been on fire in, in March, I've been fired up. I can't wait to get out of bed. I'm working like three, four o'clock in the morning, waking up at eight or nine o'clock in the morning, getting back at it. I am so fired up for what I'm creating in April. It is going to blow your mind. And so my dream of having a certain company in in this lifetime is happening. I've always wanted to do this. It is happening now. And you're going to see a lot more of the posts talk about living your brand and talk about being in your truth, being authentic and being transparent because truth always wins and being in your transparency always wins. Reality TV wins because they're, because they're living in a transparent world, right? The cameras are everywhere. And so being in your truth, being your being in your authenticity, and being in trans- trans- transparency just wins. And so if you want to know how to do anything, stop wasting your time posting in Facebook groups when all you have to do is search Facebook. The number one question that I see in speaker groups, how to get booked to pay to speak. Well, guess what? I got an ebook for that. The other question, how do I launch a podcast? Go talk to Jeremy Slate. You want to launch a podcast? Come talk to me. You want to launch a speaking career? Come talk to me. You want to launch a business? Come talk to me. Go talk to guys like Christopher Lockhead. Go talk to girls like Trish Lito, who is crushing it right now with video. Go talk to Trish Lito if you want to go speak on stage. Go talk to Trish Lito if you want to launch an actual, legit, healthy business. Go talk to, go talk to anybody else that, that, that is literally on social every day, writing articles, doing videos, like doing the things that you want to do, go talk to them. Go ask them, how are you doing this? All you have to do is provide value. All you have to do is provide value. Be truthful, be authentic, and be transparent. And you win. Period. You win. That's all I got today. I'm so fired up. I'm so, so energetic. And uh, I might have pissed people off along the way, but you know what? I don't even hear it. So I'm just being in myself. I'm being in my zone. And that is all I care about. You're going to see a lot more things coming out, of, coming out over, the past, uh, over the next month about living your brand and ways that you can support a live your brand movement and living in your truth movement. And I'm super fired up. I'm finally pulling the trigger on it. This is going to happen. And so this is what I'm doing. Like and share you know, all of the stuff, if, if, if you like, if you don't, it's cool, it's whatever. Um, love your support and let me know how I can support you. Let me know how I can be of value to you. If you ever have any questions, I'm not going to sell to you. I'm just going to answer them. People call me crazy all the time because I give all my stuff away for free. I'm like, so? I give it away for free. Like, so what? That's what you do. When you serve your way to the top, you actually give value and you actually help people, not serve by selling to them. So that's, that, that's been on my heart all day long and I see it all the time. Servant leadership does not mean you sell to them in a private message. If they need your help, you help them, period. And then guess what happens? They want to do business with you. And so, you know, I do 15 to 30 minute phone calls all the time. You want to have a phone call with me? Let's have a phone call. If I can help you, awesome. If I need to refer you to somebody else to do business with somebody else, then that's what we'll do. But I'm here for you. I'm here to give value. And I'm here literally to not sell you anything. I just want to help. I just want to give value. And if we end up doing business together, then we end up doing business together. But the people who do business with me get results, immediate results. Plain and simple, we get results. I don't mess around. I don't have time to mess around. We get results. And so... 
what the message that I want you to take away before I before I close is the fact that I want you to live in your truth, live in your authenticity and live your transparency and who cares what other people think about you, believe about you, say about you because they're not paying you. So they don't matter. Not even like my mom will tell me some things. I'm like, I don't care, mom. Like I'm doing my thing, you know? So that's what I got for you today. And if you need anything, please reach out to me. I'd love to have a phone call with you. Love to help you in any way possible for real, for real. I want to help as best that I can because I truly feel like a rising tide lifts all ships and I want you to grow and I want you to be profitable and I want you to be happy and I want you to live in your authenticity, truth, transparency, all of that and just live a healthy, wealthy life. That's what I want for you. So if this is you, awesome. If it's not, have a great day. Either way, this is where we're at. So that's all I got for you. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Like, share. If you don't, awesome. Thanks, everybody. Mm -hmm.